Okay, welcome to another extremely horrible, miserable day aboard Ron Punch. Today I'm going to be focused mainly on the galley. Now, this space is proven to be quite difficult, not in any sense of um, work related ideas like we know how to do it, we just don't know what we want where. We have a rough idea, we know that we want the sink in this position, we know we want the fridge in this position and we're probably going to have some storage or some drawers on the end here but how it goes together we're just not quite sure yet so what I'm going to do today is basically start out a basic structure I'm going to put in what I think the worktop lengths are going to be what the widths are going to be um, and just make it completely fully adjustable so that we can put some plywood down first just to kind of see stand in it have a feel of where we think we want things and then draw them in and then once again like everything else nothing's going to get tabbed in or put permanently fixed until we've got electrics and plumbing installed just so that we know we're completely sorted and if we need to move anything we're not cutting things out that we've already put in so that's my task today i'm going to cut out some two by one strips and i'm going to basically put together a basic galley structure God, it's horrible. You can probably hear that rain, but it is miserable. Cut the B-roll. thinking this is going to be the section with the sink in it here and then obviously stuff below here we're going to have the fridge which I think we're going to have the fridge here that's going to go into the corner the door stops here but it just extends slightly into that corner which might work out really well and then we've got this section here which is I've got an idea for it which um, I completely stole from sale life but essentially it is a cupboard with drawers big big drawers so we can have pots and pans we can have food whatever we want in these drawers this bar kind of represents the front of the worktop this might not look look square on the camera because i'm in 0.5 but this is a square here and then it comes down and then this is in line with the oven box i've cut this bulkhead down again to the height to basically include um 12 mil ply on top and then 15 mil worktop as well and that will take us right to the very top of this which is going to be clad with the worktop so this is at the right height now and i've also put this on a little track it's not very easy to move but i put this on a little track system so that we can mess around with the position we want to put it in before we drill the hole this hatch here is in a completely inappropriate place if we put a little cupboard over it, I think if we, you know, we'll end up being stood here, um, I think that might be a little bit far away from the cooking area. So I think, you know, if we're cooking, we want to be close, especially if we're underway. I might just have to move this or cover it up or something, but we'll, we'll come to that. So yeah, so I think tomorrow I'm going to cut the ply and completely clad this over um, up to here. So it's basically going to come over this ply here um, tuck in, it's going to be one piece, I'm going to cut this little notch out so it covers here, it tucks into that corner and it comes into here, that's one piece to here and then there'll be another piece here. Oh my hair, absolute disaster. Okay, so where are we with the galley right now? We've Things keep changing with the galley and we think we're finally getting there. We've found the sink that we want. It's a little bit bigger than what we originally thought we were gonna have, but that's not a problem. So what I'm working on now, I'm gonna extend the work top uh, by the companionway just a little bit. So in order to do that, I have had to replace the floor that was covering where the engine sits. We still don't know what we're gonna do with the engine. We don't know if we're gonna replace it or keep it. So what we are, so what I've done, I've just boarded the whole thing up until we know what we're doing with it. There's no point trying to guess and cut out the hole from that. Everything's replaceable at the moment. If it's too high, we can shorten it. If it's too long, we can shorten it. Anything like that. So all of this right now, I'm oversizing everything because it's a lot easier to cut things down than it is to add on. So we're not wasting too much wood, wood doing that. And then I need to start thinking about the fridge and the freezer. Now, I really want to make my own 
and I want to do a DIY, two cool boxes, one fridge, one freezer. There's a couple of different ways to go about it. The one way we were leaning towards is having a spillover system. So you use one compressor that freezes the freezer and then you have a hole basically between them, they're right next to each other. You have a hole and the air kind of cools down enough to refrigerate what's next to it. I know it's not the best, um, but since we are having the fridge and the freezer right next to each other, it might be the best solution. Otherwise, we're gonna have two boxes. There's gonna be 200 mil or 250 mil of foam in between them. So it's just a lot of wasted space. So it's space versus efficiency. Yeah. And there's not a way in which we just buy a fridge. Where do we put it? Putting the fridge on hold for now. Let's extend the worktop and see how we feel about that. A bit of overhang here and that is I did that on purpose just to make sure that I knew it was going to be the right size I'm going to leave it at that for now the worktop will probably overhang as well but we haven't decided what we're going to do with the companion way yet okay so I've done what I wanted to do I have extended the galley top over it took a lot of fiddling it took an awful lot of time there isn't a straight edge on this boat so it's always going to take just a little bit of time I always cut a little bit longer or shorter than I think I need to and then just trim it down to get it perfect so really happy with this. We've got a box. This is completely symmetrical all the way through so we can get some drawers in here. Tomorrow when I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. We're having some drawers over the port side. Some really deep drawers that we can pull out. It's gonna look great. Um, we've also got the gimbal arriving. We've got the sink arriving and we've got the taps arriving. So again, it's gonna be a lot of offering up cutting holes and just seeing how everything fits and it's going to look really exciting. I'm hoping by the end of tomorrow we're going to have a lot done. Alright, what's in the box? What's in the box? It feels so big. I really hope I've got the measurements right. I know. It's getting embarrassing. Right. Maybe I should get it out. Should get it out. There's two boxes. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. What's in the next box? Give <laughs> me that back. Okay, it's nowhere near as heavy as I thought it was. Yeah. This is Ellie. She's also a part of this channel. I'm the one. Long time no see. Don't get used huh? to her. <laughs> Only You're next stopping year, by. Ellie. February 2025, you'll see Ellie again. Look, someone's got to bring in the money. It's too tall for me. Hey! Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is our sink. You happy with that? This is like granite composite we've gone for a standard sink really nothing too fancy i'm not the biggest fan of a chrome one like a stainless steel one you know everyone's got one we had a light figures. discussion about that the other day didn't we just a little one yeah so uh we originally wanted a copper one but i think we're gonna wait till we've got a bit of money to spend on an actual copper one rather than just a fake copper one so we've gone for one that we think is gonna look really chic and sophisticated Woo! And we've gone for a double one, or well, one and a half, because quite rightly, Ben the other day was like, I can't stand the thought of having to pour a mug of tea down the sink and it's full of water. So, yeah, it's, when you're doing it, dishes it's a pet peeve, and there's yeah. one little cup that you've forgotten, and you're like, oh, yeah. God. And we could just throw it out there down the cockpit yeah, drain. All this but... effort, do you know what I mean? And there's no window rain, to chuck it out of. So no. this is right, and it's gonna fit nicely. But it just means you think. can put loads of stuff in it and a passage as well, and it's gonna. It's pretty big as well, actually. Yeah, some might say too big, but not me. And it's gonna be undermounted as well, so yeah. it will sit here. We have a sink. Now we need a tap. Woo! Yeah, tomorrow is fine. I got to go to work now. Yeah. All right. Off you go. Hi and bye. <laughs> 
the sinks arrived and now I'm going to have a little go at test fitting it. This isn't the final version of it at the moment. I've got a bit of ply countertop. I might take that out and use battens instead to secure it or I might just go straight under as the installation is meant to be, you just go straight into the underside of the countertop once you've got it. I think I want a little bit more support because we're going to be moving around a lot more. I'll seek advice and see what the best way to do it is, but for now I just want to see how it looks. So I'm just going to insert it into this plywood we've got here first. It does come with uh, instructions and the first thing it says in big letters is this procedure should be performed by a professional fabricator. Now I am not a professional fabricator, I am a mere humble DIYer, but we're going to give it a go. I accept full responsibility for whatever happens to the sink or to the counter or whatever. Really handily, the uh, the sink comes with two templates. The first one is for if you want to use it as an inset sink, and that's when it just sits on top of the counter, so you can see all the trimmed edge of the sink atop the counter. And the one we're going to be using is the undermount. Uh, I'm not going to use this template now. I'm going to wait until we've got the actual countertop and save that for there. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it now. I'm just going to trace around the out of the sink, bring it in 10 mil, do another line and then cut that out and then sit it on top of the ply um, just to get a feel for how it's going to look once it's in. Right, the gloves are on. The hole is cut, let's see if this sink fits. Now we know it's gonna sit proud about nine mil above the ply, but this is literally just to see how it looks, how it fits. We know all this is a little bit wonky, we know the corners aren't exactly 90 degrees, so we know it might look a little bit off, but that's why I'm doing this now, because if it looks completely off, then we can still make adjustments before we put the countertop down. Let's have a look. Seems pretty good, good fit. Also what I can do, I've got some four by one that I'm gonna to use to brace out the sides here. So I've marked around the outside. So I'm gonna cut a little channel. I'm gonna route a little channel so this sits a bit lower. And then I think we'll be channeling into the underside of the work top as well. So that will sit nice and flush over the top. I've got the new gimbal mechanisms. I bought them off the shelf as it were, they're ready made. They're made for a different oven, but I think due to the weight and everything, I think they'll be perfect for us. Uh, I'm gonna give them a try. Now, the guides that I put on the gimbal already, I took a punt and guessed that the profile is gonna be 12 mil. It's actually, in fact, nine mil. So what I'm gonna do now is swap out the 12 mil battens that I've got on the side. I'm gonna swap them out for nine mil, make them run the length of both bulkheads to make sure we've got a nice parallel line. And then I'm just going to find the center, pop some holes in, and then mount the gimbal. And with several tweaks, we have the outline of our galley. The sink is in, the oven box is gimbaled, and it's all taking shape. Now, if you want a full breakdown on the design of the galley saloon as it stands so far, Come back next Thursday at 6pm for an additional episode where we go through each aspect of the interior so far and our design intentions. See you next week!